Lone Star Gun Rights, coming to you with the easy and effective mod for your SKS rifle. If you have removed the original box dump mag from your SKS and now use removable magazines, you should do this easy mod. As you probably know, it takes several steps to load your magazine that may be difficult for most as well as it slows your loading time down. This easy mod will eliminate unneeded steps and improve your loading time. I just want to say a few things about the SKS rifle before we get started. Many refer to the SKS as a European M1 Grand as it is a proven platform. The AK-47 replaced the SKS mainly due to its uh, weight reduction of the AK and the ability to remove, to use a removable magazine and not have to use those stripper clips. The SKS rifle makes for a great budget and entry level gunsmith project as there is many mods you could do to make your SKS just a little bit better. Besides this easy mod, other modifications that are easy and effective for the SKS platform is to like polish components like the bolts, buy a new piston and gas valve if it's a Yugoslavian model. I would recommend CNC Warrior for that. Install a buffer. You can get those on Amazon for about under $5. But back to this SKS bolt mod video. So here are the steps you got to do to uh, load a magazine into a SKS with a unmodified bolt. It's clear. If you tried to load the magazine with the bolt forward, as you see, it won't go. So you have to insert your finger inside of what is now the mag well, charge the bolt to the rear, slide the little bolt stop forward, and then insert the duckbill magazine into the mag well. Then rack the bolt back and charge around. Seems like quite a few steps in my opinion. Well here's what you gotta do to take the magazine out. If you try to do it with the bolt forward, it won't come out. You have to rack the bolt to the rear to take the magazine out. Now that we saw that poor performance, let's look at this SKS with the modified bolt. You just pick it up, as you see it's clear, bolts forward, you can take your magazine with the bolt forward, drop it right in. Seems to be much faster. Now let's see how it is to remove the magazine. Bolt is forward, and it can come right out with the bolt forward. Pretty good. Okay, this SKS bolt modification uh, is, is so easy to do, anybody can do that. I'll show you how simple it is and what uh, it entails with this comparison here. We've got two bolts. Um, it's got the bolt carrier and then the bolt underneath it. Uh, one of these bolts has been modified, the other one hasn't. So um, basically when you field strip your SKS, uh, you'll have your mainspring, your uh, bolt carrier and your uh, bolt itself along with the housing cover. Here's the uh, bolt carrier and the bolt itself. We'll take the bolt carriers off and then we'll flip the bolt upside down because that's what we're going to be working on, the working side. And here's the modified bolt. Here's the unmodified bolt. Okay, so as you can see here, I I colored the unmodified in blue where we need to take it off. I just took a sharpie and colored it. And you see these that rail right there. We just need to grind down that rail. Here's the finished one. You can see we just grind it flush to that flush to the little cavity right here. So you just take that rail off and grind it right down on both sides. One, two. Just take it down smooth. Now I use a little Dremel drill with the 80 grit, uh, I guess you would call it disc or whatever, drum, sanding drum, whatever you call it, it's 80 grit, takes it down fairly uh, fast, but you want to take your time taking the material off and not let it get too hot because you don't want to lose the uh, temper of the metal itself so don't let it get hot take your time with it and slowly take it down some people take more 
metal off I uh, just take really what's uh, necessary to take off after you finish taking this material off you can uh, take some light sandpaper and sand it wet sand it real light and then take a uh, polishing cloth and polish it for um, you know make it low drag and just function a little bit better if you just want to spend the time of doing it you know it doesn't really cost much of anything and it will, will only benefit your uh, SKS in the long run anyways let's uh, get started with the grind I guess you would say it's grind time <laughs> Alright, just so you know, the rails that you're removing was originally used in the SKS's original dump box magazine system. The rails guided the bolts on track for the dump box magazine. Since you have converted your SKS to accept the removable magazines, these rails are no longer needed and make it difficult to load your new magazines. Remember to take your time when grinding. You want to feather the metal down. Slowly work it down. Don't let it get too hot and take your time. That's why I prefer to use this Dremel drill opposed to bigger grinders. It takes its time and it will not heat up the metal. It'll be cool to touch when I stop grinding on it. Bottles in the background are some actually some pretty cool stuff. It's called Lone Star Gun Lube by us, Lone Star Gun Rights. Be sure to watch our video on YouTube. Just search Lone Star Gun Lube. We had a lot of fun making that video, so go ahead and check it out. You'll laugh your butt off, I promise. Okay, so at this point we're getting pretty close uh, taking the metal down. You want to check it uh, from time to time because you can always remove more metal, but it's uh, very difficult to add metal back once you've taken it off. So check it from time to time to ensure that you haven't removed too much metal. If you are using a grinder, this might be a good time to switch to a file and take it down a little slower and just work it, you know, so you can keep your eye on it so you're not gouging it or anything at this point. to look like this when it's done. I bring it so it's you know, pretty much flush and even. Take that rail all the way down and just smooth it out. When you get completely finished with the grinding, if you wanna polish it up and everything, then that's just gonna to add to your bolts uh, low drag. Okay, so now that we've got the material ground down to where I believe it's going to work just right and everything, we're going to go ahead and reassemble it and test fit it and see how it works. Let's go ahead and throw a mag in and see if it uh, if it worked successfully. Just like that. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if this video helped you with your SKS bolt mod. Subscribe to the channel and share the video on social media.